some really good advice, especially right now. Well, right now we are taking a look over Carbondale where things aren't really being able to see from a good enough distance. Typically we can see at least 10 miles out. Well, right now on our map, we can see only about three miles out. So when you're driving, you're seeing at a reduced visibility. So give yourself and other drivers enough braking time. I know it's not fog, but it is still very distracting, especially with that sun glare out there. It's also not great for the lungs. You can actually see how that just updated and how it just looks uh, just so cloudy out there. So right now, looking at Carbondale, looking everywhere else, most of us across the northern parts of the United States are seeing this haze. And so we'll talk about that in a second. But what I also want to talk about is we're not just seeing haze. OK, so over into our southeast Missouri counties, we are starting to track some very light rain showers that have been falling across early this morning. Yeah, you heard some thunder that has pretty much moved down to the area. It's possible that will make its way as it diminishes into Illinois and to our Kentucky counties but it's not going to last so long. So looking at our air quality though right now, because that's one of the bigger pictures today, we aren't seeing that great of air quality. In fact, it's pretty unhealthy to be outside right now. You add in the heat and it just makes it a lot worse. But of course, down to the south, you're not really looking at a huge impact. You're still seeing the haze, but you are expecting to see that haze eventually move out of the region by later this evening. So that'll be some good news, but we've been tracking this wildfire haze on and off since the start of May. So it's a really long time to be under these conditions and it's not healthy for anybody even at a low impact. So looking at our threat tracker, we are going to remain sunny and very hazy out there. A few chances of isolated to scattered showers. Heat is going to be the biggest threat out there. So right now we've actually risen only to those lower 80s for most of us across the region. It's not the warmest we've been able to see at least waking up around this time of day talking about almost before noon. We do have heat advisories and an excessive heat warning that pretty much stays off down to our south, our Tennessee and two counties there into southeast Missouri, Dunklin and Pemiscott into that excessive heat warning. All of us under this heat advisory that starts at 11 Thursday morning going until eight in the evening Friday. So that's a long stretch and it's going to feel like heat indices are over 105 degrees, maybe even feeling like 110. And this heat's not just to here at home. It goes all the way down to the south. So that's going to be a lot of stress on a lot of power grids, and it's not going to be so fun to watch what happens or what could happen, I should say. So again, today we could see a few on and off showers and maybe some storms out there, but temperatures still pretty muggy though, sitting into those lower 90s. Temperatures by the time you wake up Thursday morning, pretty muggy and mild back into those upper 60s, lower 70s. Maybe a few chances of pop up showers and storms as we go through the later half of the afternoon, but really the big picture that we are stressing temperatures Thursday are going to rise into those triple digits back into those lower 100s with the feels like temperature. Look at that Paducah sitting at 100 degrees feels like 111. So please do not leave your kids or your pets inside the cars. Look at that Union City sitting at 101 tomorrow feels like temperature 115. And so when you go out, just consider that Thursday, Friday, and even for your Saturday going into the weekend, it is going to feel very hot outside. This is dangerous heat we're talking about. So even for our farmers working in grain bins today through the weekend, not great to be out in it as unsafe. So just if you have any seniors, you have kids that are stressing with asthma, stay indoors. Air quality is not good and neither are our temperatures. We're talking about two big pictures here. Just keep that in mind. And then as we go through the rest of the week, look at that. We have chances of rain all across the board. So that is a lot of things to consider when you're thinking of, hey, what can I do? How can I plan my day? It's summer. The kids want to go outside and have fun. Maybe it's better to be a movie day if that I know a lot of kids were at the movie theaters mm -hmm. yesterday and so Absolutely. Some good ideas, you know, stay inside, maybe eat some ice cream and also go ahead and stay hydrated. Drink as much yeah. water as possible. So, all right. Thanks so much, Emily.